Welcome to Weld.com. I had a couple of people ask, and even the camera guy, he's getting kind of frisky. He said something about TIG welding overhead, fillet weld, something. And I thought, yeah, I don't think we've done that before. And it's more of a demonstration on getting comfortable and propping and resting your arm on something. There's a lot of times I'm building stuff and I'll put a clamp on it and everybody's going, what, what's the clamp for? And I'll rest my arm on it and they'll go, oh, I got it. Things are getting hot, you know. Uh, you can use the TIG fingers, you can use the carbon fiber pads, they're all real nice. This one I'm just gonna rest my wrist up in here because the whole deal is uh, trying to get comfortable and get up underneath this thing. Angle of your torch, stick out and all that stuff. I'm gonna do two runs here, front and back. I've got some 3 carbon material. Again, this is just a demonstration on kind of getting comfortable and, and getting up underneath here. First one, I'm gonna dab, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this off. I don't know why I keep getting hung up on the corner of the table here, but I'm gonna be up underneath here and I'm gonna run my wire in here and just kind of dab across, okay? And I'm gonna turn this thing over and I'm gonna do another little technique where I'm resting the cup up in here. I've got quite a bit hanging out of here, about three eighths of an inch for my tungsten stick out right now, number six cup. The second run, I'm gonna come in a little bit here, probably half inch or so, so that I can rest this and I'm gonna take off and just walk the cup along here. Again, I'm not pushing on this. I have just have it at an angle and I'm wiggling it back and forth. What'll probably happen is, since the cameraman's back here mouthing off and, and challenged me and everything, I'll get going along here and I'll go slip and everything and blow up and he'll be, if you hear somebody laughing, it'd be this guy here. Let me get my gear on, I'll be right back. We'll throw down. You mind your business, you wouldn't be minding mine. There's the first part of that. I want to uh, come in about a little bit here so I got enough room to rest this cup. Show you another little technique here. Hang on there, let me get going. This leaves a little different profile of weld. Kind of flows along nicely. We get done with this and you might not be able to tell. If I turn this over, you probably wouldn't be able to tell what position it was welded in, overhead or just plain old horizontal on the table, maybe. Hopefully. Look at that. Get you some. Anyway, whole demonstration on just kind of getting comfortable. <clears throat> it's a decent profile. I kind of, I felt more comfortable doing that way because I could rest the cup instead of, instead of sliding a little bit, manipulating it. Uh, I, you know, I'm not putting a lot of pressure up underneath there at all. I was just kind of holding it up there like we, we did a video on walking the cup and how little of pressure you actually need and you're not pushing on the cup <clears throat> uh, just kind of resting it up there at the right angle and when you move it back and forth it moves on its own so a little lay wire technique we did both dabbing on the back side here and we did the walk in the cup lay wire thing and it i mean you know if you're building if you're building stuff whatever it is and you get into these positions don't be alarmed just get comfortable it's just one weld at a time so Hey, I hope this helped out. If we can, if we can help with stuff, let us know. I'm, I learned a little bit on this rascal here too. I think cameraman, cameraman owes me dinner now for mouthing off saying I couldn't do it. So uh, thanks for watching the videos. Please subscribe.
Bob Moffitt with Weld.com. Thanks for watching. You're starting to give the camera a hard time. Damn right I am. <laughs> Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta yell at me? Yeah.